Zudo Raggy here, coming to another video review. And today, as you can see, I'll be taking a look at Legends Voyager Class Black Convoy, aka Scourge, aka Nemesis Prime, from the Japanese version of the Transformers Titans Return toy line called Transformers Legends. That is a lot of backstory just to get the name of a figure out. Here you can see him in his tanker truck mode. Size compared to a soda can. He is a tiny tanker. Hey, that rhymes. Kinda. His colors are, well, the Nemesis Prime colors. Black, silver, teal, very bright pink, and a lot of sort of a dark gunmetal gray. Sort of looks like he's got a butt. View from above and below. As far as the two alternate modes go, I think that the uh, tanker truck is the most successful. I mean, it has issues, like it can't turn at all because it's all just one solid piece, but... That's better than what the uh, airplane mode has going for it. Spoiler alert. And of course he does have accessories. He has his Titan Master, who in the Japanese uh, version of the toy line, this is the actual robot. This is Black Convoy, a.k.a. Scourge, a.k.a. Nemesis Prime. And this is his power armor, or Transtector. As you can see, he's the same as his, you know, power armor. A, a dark brownish gray, black, little bit of silver on the face. Upside down face on his back. Doesn't really come into much use right now. And of course, his head's on a ball joint. So, side to side, back and forth. And it can swivel side to side a little bit. Arm can go up about that far. If you go up much farther, it's going to pop off. You can only go out to the side about that far. Legs can go forward that far. Back, not really at all. And you get a little over 90 degrees of bend in the knees. But they are fused, which is mildly disappointing. And of course, there are little posts all over the tanker where you can, you know, plug him on there. Back there. None up front, though. As far as him incorporating, this bright pink piece can be flipped up. And you take, you know, little Scourge and just drop him in facing like that. Now, before I do that, might as well show you the interior. There's not a whole lot to see. Just go ahead and drop him in there. You will softly tab in, close that up, there you go. You've also got his twin-barreled blaster, and again, there are several ways it can incorporate. And you've got a port back here, you can plug it in like that, or like that. Or, there are these two little tabs right here that will link to these notches on the gun. Get those lined up. It's very, very iffy and more designed for, you know, the airplane mode, if you can't tell. And of course, you also have his bright pink sword, which sort of looks like a beam saber. And of course, you know, you can plug it in here, over there, you can't really store it anywhere else, but if you have the gun plugged in, you can use one of these two ports, plug it into the side, and you've got storage all in one. Oh, and before I get too far ahead of myself, he can sit in the gun. There is a slot there, and if you just, oh, gotta get his arms out of the way. Just drop him in there, and he sits rather nice and comfy in there. 
And you can put any Titan Master or Prime Master in there. Let's just go ahead. Not really too much else to talk about. We'll go to... We'll go ahead and go to... From truck mode to plane mode to robot mode. But at the end, I'm going to show you two secret modes that you really only find if you have or have seen the issue of the Legends manga that comes with this guy, and I'll show you those at the end. But for now, we'll go for the transformation from tanker truck to airplane jet thing. First thing you need to do is just split both of these sides of the tanker. This one has a tab that sits in there. And split the entire back section. Just take these wings and get them up out of the way. Come into here. And there are little panels you want to flip out. And then flip them this way. And they will form the nose cone. So flip out. Flip around. And nose cone. Take the bottom side with the wheels and just flip those all the way around. You want to make sure you go... A lot of people don't mention this, but you want to make sure that when you're flipping it, you always want to flip the these portions so that this is pointing inward. It's hard for me to show you, but I did it the other way, and there is a little post that this leg secures onto, and that post snapped off. So, just for your reference, with these panels, you always want to flip them outward. Anyway, so now just take all this and secure it together. Take these panels and close them back up. Now it's like dog cat. <clears throat> anyway, as for the wings, which are a bit of a pain, just bring them forward, bring them down, flip this part of the wing this way, and bring it up and around, and then bring it around this way, and there is a little notch right here that will go onto this tab right there, and the wing itself will sit into that little indent. It's mildly aggravating to get everything lined up because there's so many little swivels and joints and whatnot, but it can be done just like that. Take the cab of the truck and just split the whole thing. There is a tab that will go into that slot there. Same thing on this side. Flip that out. Tab, slot. The arm is cooperating take this portion and you want to bring it up and then it will collapse in on a slider. It's very tight, at least on my figure, so you kind of got to use a bit of force. Come on. <coughs> and you just go ahead and slide it all the way and it will sit there like that. Take this panel and flip it up against the uh, back of the plane, maybe. Bring these little panels down to form the elevators. And there you have Nemesis Prime, or Black Convoy, or Scourge. I'm just going to call him Nemesis Prime from this, from this point on, in his plane mode. And it looks okay. I mean, it's very obvious that there's some truck stuff going on. I mean, you got all this here. But it looks okay. The truck is definitely the much more convincing uh, vehicle mode. And again, you can get, you know, the Titan Master involved. Still got all those same posts and everything. You can also put him into this little compartment. But instead of facing him this way, 
you face him this way so that he is facing the right direction. If I can get him to drop in. Now oh, his arm's out. Get in the... Not like that. Get in the compartment. Stop fighting me. Go ahead and close that up. And again, you can attach the gun on top. These two tabs go into that, into that notches there. That looks a little better. And you can also attach the sword up here. And now you've got him with a sword cannon thing on top. Unfortunately, this is not the most secure connection. It pretty much just pops right off. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the uh, vehicle mode is he does have all these wheels. Vehicle mode, the truck mode. And so he still has all these wheels, so he rolls fairly nicely, even in this mode. Although, again, he doesn't look that aerodynamic. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on to the robot mode. First, let's go ahead and get the Titan Master out of here. Take all this, untab it from there, and just bring all this up a little bit. Then you want to take this part of the truck cab, flip it all the way up, turn it around, and that gives you that one shoulder. Flip out the hand, rotate that forward. Same thing on this side. Bring that up. Rotate it around, untab the arm, fold down the fist, bring this panel all the way down, so that it sits just like that, and then bring all this up, Oop, before you do that, get the wings so that they are like this, fold up that panel, bring it out, flip it around, Bring it out again, up, sit, and flip. Go ahead and split these panels out from the main body. Go ahead and split all of this completely. Just turn this the other way and flip it back in. Turn it the other way, flip it back in. Get these flat against the body or flat against the leg, and then take the legs and shift them forward at the waist. They'll stop being so floppy. Bring these little sections back down. But if you bring them all the way, you want to go ahead and flip his feet out. Bring this down the rest of the way, and at least on, on this side it'll lock in place, but not on this side because, again, I broke it. Bring that out. Bring that out. Flip that down. The reason I haven't done anything with the tail fin is because he does have one secret mode so that I may as well show you now. Flip this up. Bring this back out. Make sure it locks into place. And then bring it down like that and you have the Black Convoy Drone Mode. Where in the comic, the like evil tie or something had hundreds of these drones that she used as an army. The Legends universe is weird, okay? Go check out Chris McFeely if you want to get any idea on how all that works. Now for the proper transformation, go ahead and split this whole fin. And then just bring it all down. Rest it against the backpack. Push this button, flip up the prime ears, and then we take the Titan Master, fold up his legs, and then he will attach via the head into the connector there, the very, very, very tight connector. Ugh. Well, that's the easiest time I've ever had getting that in there. And there you have Legends. Nemesis Prime or Black Convoy in robot mode.
Here's his size compared to a soda can. Standard Voyager class figure. As far as overall colors, it is the Nemesis Prime color scheme. Dark gray, black, silver, teal, and a bit of hot pink. Overall, I personally quite like it. I just needed a Nemesis Prime for my collection, and I thought that out of all the ones I've seen, this is the one that is the best for the price range. So, I got this one. And I'm quite satisfied. As far as posability, he's still got the ball joint from the Headmaster, so it can look up and down quite a bit. If you get the prime ears down, his head can go all the way around and tilt side to side. If you bring the prime ears back up, his head is limited, but you do have this little base plate it sits on, which allows you to turn it side to side, so you can get a respectable amount of movement. The arms can really only go up about that far before his shoulder stacks get in the way of, or sort of start bumping into everything. Arms can go out to the side that far at one joint. Swivel all the way around just below the elbow. Bend less than 90 degrees at the elbow and no motion at the wrist. Now one thing is you don't actually have to have these stacks up. You can leave them down like that and it's perfectly serviceable as part of the appearance but you're supposed to have these up and honestly I think it looks better that way so I usually leave them up nothing at the waist just due to how he transforms legs can move forward that far back pretty far already out to the side all the way, swivel just below the hip, fairly decent knee bend, and then nothing at the ankle due to how he transforms, but you do get a default A stance from him. So, there's that at least. Posability isn't great, but it's what you expect from the Generations line. Oh, excuse me. And he does have the same accessories as I've shown you before. You got the gun. You can just go ahead and pop that into his hand. It looks okay. And of course, you can pop, you know, any Titan Master or Prime Master in there. And his sword, which just goes into his hand with that long post. And there he is with his bright pink sword. So, yeah. Pretty neat figure for robot mode. I kind of like him in all his modes. Even the rather dinky drone mode. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back into his vehicle mode real quick. Because it is easiest to get to his um, second secret mode. Or his fifth mode from truck mode. Now we come to Black Convoy's fifth and final mode. His base mode. So I'll go ahead and get that started. I can remember exactly how it works. Yeah. You want to go ahead and take these middle panels and just split them and bring them out to the side like that for now. Go ahead and split the back of the truck. Bring all of this, all the wings up. Take this panel and flip it open. Split the back of the truck, bring this out, close that back up, no, don't close it back up, take the forearms, detach them, and turn them around, you want to get them out of those tabs, and bring them around, and then close this back up, and flip out the hands. Kind of want all that just sitting there like that. Split open this, bring it down like that. Bring the legs out so that they're like that. Flip up the front part of the legs and flip out the toe. Do the same thing over here, get this out and up. Flip this out, flip out the toe. 
And then for the wings, you want to bring them up all the way against this section. Bring the wings out, flatten them down, bend these to be ramps. Bring this out, bring this up. Just get everything situated. And then you want to take his gun and it will connect into his hands with these posts on either side. And with that, there you have Black Convoy, aka Nemesis Prime, in his base mode. Sort of something of a uh, tertiary or fan mode of sorts. And of course, everything is set up where you can get the Titan Masters going around it. Though they don't really have anywhere to secure. Honestly, I really like this mode. I mean, it's dumb, it's silly, but I kind of love it. <laughs> Plus, you know, Scourge slash Black Convoy in, our, in Car Robots did in fact have a base mode. So, I quite like this personally. Well, that pretty much sums up my review. So, this has been my review of Legends Black Convoy, a.k.a. Scourge, a.k.a. Nemesis Prime. My brain shut off for a second there. So, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>